Welcome to Food Paradise in Paradise. Mapping out all your must-eat vacation treats. Oh my goodness, it's the best. It really takes you into Hawaii. Join us for an island-hopping, hunger-crushing, hedonistic holiday in Hawaii. So luscious. Definitely laid back. We've got the Aloha Lowdown on all the local hotspots. It feels as if I'm biting right into Hawaii. Nom nom so nummy, they will, as they say in these parts, break the mouth, brother. Ooh, hot. Hope your grass skirt has an elastic waistband, because you can't spell mahalo without mm, mm, mm. mm. vacationing snowbirds escaping winter, or the folks leaving behind landlocked locales, the Hawaiian island of Kauai is the total package. This experience right here, though, is exactly what I envisioned yeah. when we were at home. It's just everything. This is like one of the most natural vibes of Hawaii, because you're just right on the beach, you can see the ocean, you can see the mountains, you're having amazing cocktails. If you can be on the beach in Kauai and have a Mai Tai, you're doing something right. This complete toes in the sand dining experience is courtesy of Lava Lava Beach Club in Kapa, AKA the little town in the middle of the ocean. Well, I think a toes in the sand restaurant sounds pretty fun myself. When you're not wiggling your toes in the sand, you might want to be doing something else with that cocktail. So you get in and play some games and have a good time. Tropical cocktails and ocean breezes are great, but what'll really blow your mind is their Kahlua pork sandwich. Chef Kim Brun gets this traditional Hawaiian dish going by deep tissue massaging some volcanic salt into a pork butt. Then she adds in the dish's iconic smoky flavor using a little island magic. So this is liquid smoke that give it a smoky flavor because normally Hawaiian tradition, it's normally made in the underground emu. We'll dig a hole in the ground, put some tea leaves, banana leaves, we'll put the pork butt in with some hot stone, and then we let it steam for like half a day. This hunk of porky paradise is just too popular to do things the old fashioned way. Kim tops that fat cap with whole green onions and chopped ginger for maximum tastiness. Fat is like the best part in a cool little pig. I'm trying to be honest with everybody's like, where's the fat, where's the fat? Cause that's what gives it the flavor. She adds water and covers it to braise for the next four hours. But that pork needs some barbecue sauce, which starts out sort of southern with ketchup, molasses, brown sugar, and cider vinegar. The secret ingredient is the guava sauce. We use guava concentrate because it's more sweet than regular guava juice. That guava guava barbecue sauce will sit tight till the pork is done, so Chef Kim can knock out some Hawaiian eyes coconut wasabi coleslaw. We're gonna start with wasabi paste, some white sugar to give it some sweetness. Sweet rice wine, lemon juice, and coconut milk fill out the base. We're gonna add a little crunch to it. It's a toasted coconut flakes. Those and the cabbage get incorporated into this unconventional slaw. The sweet, the tarty, the tangy, everything that you need in the coleslaw. But without the mayonnaise, so it's actually fat free in my eyes, because it's coconut milk, so it's much more healthier for you than the mayonnaise is. All that's left is to pull the finished pork and pan fry it with the guava cue sauce. On the grill, she chars a thick pineapple slice and toast a Hawaiian sweet roll. If you guys could smell it in a TV, you guys could smell the guava sauce. It's very really good. This is Lava Lava Beach Club signature barbecue pool pork sandwich. Oh, wow. Wow. That right there. I couldn't even find the words to describe. That's the best barbecue sandwich I've ever had. Good thing we got two. <laughs> so good. Definitely a spin on traditional Kalua. The guava in there, it really takes you into Hawaii. Is it good? Yeah, really good. <laughs> There's like a smoky flavor and the pineapple is so sweet on top of that. It's like, I've never had a pulled pork sandwich like that. <laughs> I've never had it. What? <laughs> Why you gotta steal my sandwich? <laughs> no need to get greedy, folks. There's plenty of island-inspired awesomeness to go around, like Lava Lava's pineapple fried rice with teriyaki skirt stick. The 
teriyaki marinade is simple enough. Soy sauce, white and brown sugar, chopped garlic, ginger, and green onions. So right here, we've got some beautiful flank steak that we're gonna pour the marinade into for about two to three days. Here in Hawaii, we call this like lomi, which is mean massage. 48 hours later, that terry soaked steak sizzles on the flat top while Kim fires up her wok for the rice. Chopped garlic, ginger, carrots, and green onions build the ground floor of flavor here, too. All this pineapple that I have here, this little tiny diced pineapple, it came out of this pineapple as we cut it and core it. Remember that fruit ball, because we're coming back to it soon. Now we're going to prepare our fried rice. We have a day-old rice that helps hold the ingredients together and rehydrates it. She enhances that with oyster and soy sauces and sesame oil, then tosses that rice like she's at a wedding. Then she makes like Pac-Man with a little walk a walk a walk a walk And the last touch is some pre-fried egg slices. We're going to transfer the fried rice into our homemade pineapple bowl. The teriyaki steak perches on top with some green onions and edible flowers. This is pineapple fried rice bowl with flank steak on it at Lava Lava Beach Club. Oh, I'm not sharing. <laughs> mm. Oh, she's dancing. <laughs> Please bring my head. Oh, this looks so good. That's her happy face. <laughs> this is so Ono. Which means really good in Hawaii. The pineapple is super fresh. Huh. It's really light, but then the meat has a nice char to it. This makes you feel like you're in Hawaii. And I have sand in my toes <laughs> as I'm eating. <laughs> Lava Lava Beach Club in Kapa'a can lay claim to the best waterfront dining on Kauai. And in case you missed it, tell us what that's all about again. Pretty much your toes in the sand, drinks in your hands. <laughs> what can you say? <laughs>